Hi everybody, you are watching the tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design the mandalas in Gray Designer. This the tutorial requires the symbols panel so it's more likely for the pro user but you can use again my template to build the uh, mandalas I'm still waiting for your feedback whether it works for the uh, free version or not so let me know on the comments uh, form below okay alt n or option n on your mac I'm gonna start with the uh, blank document so uh, I need this website medium go to this chevron icon to bring up a drop down and select website medium 1366 on 768 pixels click on this icon to bring up a new canvas and on the new canvas we are gonna build the grid first so enable the grid on the document panel and set it to 50 50 so 50 type 50 in the width type 50 in the height uh, head over to the magnet icon and make sure that you snap into this grid. Next, bring up the rulers. Control R uh, or command Option R uh, on your Mac to bring up the rulers and navigate to the border of the ruler and grab the uh, guide and position it in the middle of your document. Around the middle, it shouldn't be uh, that precise, but uh, it should be on the grid exactly on the grid line so make the adjustment scale up with the control plus or command plus on your mark and then make adjustment to your rulers to positioning them on the grid lines uh, okay so far so good right now we need to grab the ellipse tool or click e on your keyboard and holding alt holding uh, shift in this intersection placing the cursor on this intersection i'm gonna to create the ellipse with the size of 500 pixels um, in this case of course we are building the circle one okay so uh, delete the fill and introduce the one pixel border it's far more than enough and now go to the angles on this appearance panel and in the first uh, text field type 120 pixels and click enter in the second text field uh, type 60 so the uh, sum of your uh, numbers will be 180 exactly 180 so you have this slice this pizza slice and we need to go to the symbols and uh, create a new symbols by clicking on this uh, plus icon near the trash icon uh, so uh, I'm gonna use the slice symbol just slice and next option, I need to create a duplicate with Ctrl D, D Command D and rotate this all duplicate around our middle. So, uh, in order to do this, I'm gonna to first bring up the transform panel by heading over and clicking on this uh, transform button on the inspector panel. Then grab this uh, diamond shape and position it uh, on this intersection again. And then head over to the top right corner of your bounding box and holding shift key it's important guys to restrain your angle to 15 degrees rotate your slice on 60 degrees negative 60 you will see the angle over there on the again on the inspector panel then ctrl d comma d to repeat this operation several times the most important part select the slice this master symbol on the bottom and bring up it to the board just dragging it with the left mouse button key now grab the subcell tool and if you have these overlapping slices grab the subcell tool select your slice and then move your slice to get rid of these uh, overlapping points in my case I have 120 to 60.47 okay so far so good so what we have right now is that we have a slice which is a master symbol bisected by the guide on the halves and around this design we are gonna to make our mandala so select the shape inside in our case it's ellipse Grab the basicon tool, or click B on your keyboard and start designing with the basicon tool. So first thing first, I want to design two 
arcs, but before I need to unsnap from the grid. Place it the first button, then hold Alt or option on your Mac and place uh, another button and then place another button to uh, finish our design. Uh, that easy guys, this is how you can create this wonderful mandala. So let's continue further. And you see that uh, by tweaking the grid, you can also uh, create more uh, more guides for your design. So Alt or Option on your Mac and then finish it here. So finish it here. Now you guys need to pick up your favorite drawing tool such as uh, pen tool. You can watch the tutorial on my channel basic on tool. Again, you can follow the link in the description to watch the tutorial about basic on tool or a freehand drawing tool and fill in the space inside this slice of the master symbol. And bear in mind, in order to make the reflection, all of your parts, all of your shapes, all of your uh, designs supposed to be inside this master symbol. The most important with the subselect tool or click D, you can adjust the positioning of some of your uh, shapes, uh, lines and uh, all of this stuff. Okay, that is it. So last one that you need to do is to, when you're done, grab all of your designs inside and group them, Control, uh, control G, comma G. Then delete the ellipse um, that is uh, used to mark down our design. And uh, finally, <coughs> within this uh, group, you can select, uh, sorry, and finally select all of your uh, subordinate symbols, use the right mouse button context menu and uh, detach symbol from the instance, select this option. Now when you detach, you have just a bunch of groups independent from each other you can add the final touches for example the final element over there um, is circle in my case okay guys this is how you can create this symmetrical wonderful uh, mandalas in gravity designer i hope you enjoy this tutorial if you do give some pop subscribe to my channel and Join Gray Designer tutorials and Gray Designer <coughs> groups on Facebook by going to the description or uh, looking them for the links on the uh, comments. As always, don't forget to visit tutorials.net for more Gray Designer and Adobe Illustrator tutorials. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.